Hey guys, this is my Henry Lever Action 22 caliber new gun. Bought it a few weeks ago and I decided I'd do a review on it for you guys. So, yeah, this is it. This is what it looks like. It's Lever Action, obviously. Moves nice and slow. Comes with the iron sights, stock iron sights. Comes with them and the interesting mag. I've never actually seen one of these, but yeah. Just twist it open here, pull up. And then that's what holds the bolts down. You slide them all in here. Close this back up. There's the spring. All the bolts will be in there once you close it up. There, slide it back in. Lock. There, and then that's the magazine. Pretty interesting. Holds 15 rounds in total, which is pretty good actually. So, yeah. Okay, and this is the lock that it comes with. It just slides up onto this lever, just like so. Lock it up top, and then it also locks the hammer down right away. Then you take the screw here that it comes with, slide onto there, and you've got this cool key. And you can tighten it up all the way. I'm not going to do that obviously now because it'll take a while and I don't care. Um, so, yeah, that's the safety that, it, not the safety, the lock that it comes with. And I was like, I don't want to unscrew the screw all the time. Or when I'm displaying it, that'll take forever every time I want to shoot it. So, my smart cell goes to my local Canadian tire and gets myself one of these locks. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. So, open it up. Stick it on there. Close it. Boom. Alright. Put it there. Next time I go to use it, I just open the lever automatically. And it falls out. So, don't do the same mistake I did, because that was very unsmart of me. Don't get one of these locks, just use the one it comes with, because it obviously doesn't help very much. So, yeah, don't do that. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. So, it's pretty funny. It's mostly everything about this gun. There's, yeah. Um, let's just do a couple of test shots. Fire this thing around. Nothing in particular that I don't like about it. It's been pretty good to me so yeah okay here we go slide that out place it down grab these are the bolts I'm using still need to test out on a few different brands see what works best these aren't giving me the best groupings but that might just be me gotta practice a bit but we'll see we'll test out a few different brands if you want to see that in the video let me know there's one two three four five six Take this, push down, slide down pretty easy at the end it starts to give a little bit of resistance, but that's because of the spring. There, that's full, if you look in there, boom, bolts are down there. And it's chambered. One thing I find interesting, there isn't a really a safety on this. It's not very safe, but I mean, there's just none there. Like, I guess the only safety is if this is open, then you can't fire it because the hammer is, but there's no actual safety when the lever is closed. So yeah, just thought I'd say that. So yeah, let's go take a few test shots. Okay, so we're here with the gun. Got a piece of metal there, one eighth piece of stainless steel out there like, I don't know, say 40 to 50 yards, so let's see if we can hit it. Oh, the chamber then. Got him. Got him. He goes crazy. Alright, the target got knocked over. Let's go stand it back up and take a look at what damage it did to that piece of metal. <laughs> okay, here it is. It knocked it over at the last few shots, but obviously some of these were already in here, but yeah. Sometimes they go through, sometimes they don't. I guess it just matters where you hit it on the 
checkers because some pieces are thicker, but that's, I guess, the damage they had to do to it, and it's pretty cool. Wait, where are they? Sometimes, <laughs> can't see any right now, but oftentimes, they'll fly out. Come on. Am I doing that right now? No, but you can, like, see metal in there. These pieces of lead or whatever the tips are. There you go. I don't know, I can't get it out, but there, they're just like in there, stuck. There's one. The other side I shot a few more times. Sometimes they go through, sometimes they don't. Yeah, so. Now, let's see how fast I can empty a full 15 magazine round onto this thing. Alright, keep them stick. Just some more there, and we're gonna see how fast I can empty the whole Now the target is now just 20 yards because I'm just going to see how fast I can empty a mag with this lever action. So I guess start the timer when I first cog it. All right. Boom, time. That's it for this video. If you have any more questions, please ask me. I'll answer them about this gun. So, yeah. Next video, we'll do a cleaning video on this gun. Show you guys how to break it down, clean it, build it back up in depth. So, see you guys next time. And a little trick you can do with this. I'm not very smooth at it yet, but flick it around like a cowboy. So, see you.